John here guys and today we're talking about the new beta FPV 20 amp toothpick flight controller electronic speed controller combo that's right finally we have the ultimate power in the galaxy this station is now the ultimate power in the universe that is fantastic terrific work so no weaknesses at all huh? see finally we have a board that could potentially finally be worthy of combating that terrible thing that we've all known to <laughs> come to know as the curse of the toothpick i'm going now and heaven help you why does it seem that every one of these boards that has come out since the inception of the word toothpick has been cursed to have extremely high failure rates? Even the Crazy BF um, 4V3 that I recently talked about on the channel, I've had two of those die on the bench, guys, so buyer beware. I'm going to upload update that in the comments. Uh, Beta FPV's offerings, though, have been pretty solid for me thus far. My hum quad is going along quite well, and also my uh, my twig is running that 12 amp version of that board. But what if you wanted to run something a little more powerful, something with motors a little bit larger, something with a little bit more speed? Could you build something that could carry the power on board to give you that speed of a more traditional three inch? but have a weight closer to a modern day twig type three inch. That's the question guys. So I think this could be it. Look at the size and number of FETs on board. This is really much closer to what you would find on a board made to power a five inch. So they have added some extra insurance for you to be able to run this. It also comes with a nice set of accessories. It comes with the little connectors that you can solder on. I like that by default is to not have them, does not have those installed. Comes with a couple of screws and some little gummies to be able to mount this thing. I also like that this actually has holes instead of just notches. Makes it a little bit easier for mounting and installing this thing. I love that it has the motor pads both on top of the board along with all the other pads that you would use for a build and on the bottom so you can choose whether you want to put your motor wires on the top or the bottom it also has the <laughs> finally it also has the usb port sticking out to the side so that you don't have to worry about going underneath in order to access that usb port to change these settings comes with the pigtail already soldered up i love that that saves me a bit of effort and it has a beautifully installed capacitor on board as well so i don't have to take time out of my day to do that either um, this does put the price up a little bit to sixty dollars so is it worth it over the standard 12 amp version that is um, what is it forty four dollars or something like that here's my thoughts guys if you're gonna be wanting to throw on some big motors some 13 size some 14 size who knows how high are we gonna push it um, or if you want to run your standard toothpick or twig formula with some 1103s, 1105s, but you really want to push it hard, say you want to run 4S, um, and you are just tired of the curse of the toothpick, guys. You're just tired of having to swap these boards out. If you want the extra insurance to buy once and buy for good, this could be the answer, guys. So stay tuned. Very soon I'm going to be installing this in a super secret frame that I'll have very soon. Uh, you've probably seen some um <laughs> little gurgles about the new twig that's going to come out and so that's what this is going to go on and stay tuned to see how hard i decide to push it and what type of speeds we can get and expect out of this thing i love 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 the design layout of this thing it's absolutely beautiful this if you remember correctly was kind of the thing where kebab accidentally gave the designs to beta fpv even though he meant to he thought he was dealing with nameless i'm not really sure what happened there but we can all reap the benefits of this Nameless doesn't have the 20 amp version of this beta FPV, but does. So thank you, beta FPV, for sending me this board, and I vow to make good use of it. Stay tuned, guys. Thanks.